it, it wasn't so much that, you know, him leaving me, it, it hurt my heart. It was the situation that, you know, he left me in. And that he doesn't even care enough to say, you know, to think, I mean, you know, does he ever think what, what I'm going through? Meet Donna Sutherland. She lives in Atlantic County, and up until July, she had a relationship with her husband. They lived together in a small motel until July. They were living what you might, from the outside, appear to be an idyllic life. Home, living together, married for 20 years. And then her husband left her. Donna says that's why she's homeless. You know, I mean, you think it's not depressing. It really is. Do you blame I, your husband? You know, in a sense, I do. Yes, I, it, yes, I do. Donna is disabled with multiple medical conditions that require use of an oxygen tank, chronic pain, and multiple heart and lung problems. She hasn't been able to work and that's why she gets small stipend from the state, social security insurance. The bulk of the rest of her income was her husband. He worked, he brought in a paycheck, he paid for the rent, paid for the food, paid for the phone bills. When he took off, her source of income was gone and she was kicked out of the apartment three weeks later. All I want to do is find a home. That's it. I just, I'm, I, you know, I sleep on my mom's floor. Now, I came to see her at her mother's apartment, but she's alternating between sleeping on the floor of her mother's apartment and a recliner in her sister's home. She's going back and forth and has no idea what to do because she can't get alimony until the divorce goes through, and her husband hasn't filed the divorce papers yet. We tried to reach out to her husband, Chris, couldn't get in touch with him. Uh, we're trying to also get her some legal advice to find out what her options are, but it seems like she's going to be stuck in a lot of the situation because you can't get divorce settlements until the divorce goes through. Does she not qualify for any kind of a, uh, an aid package? Did you say that? I'm she doesn't qualify for of his income. She doesn't qualify for Social Security disability insurance because she doesn't have enough quarters of work to have uh, to be in that system. So she's really on Social Security insurance. She was relying on her husband. They were married Where for 20 years. Where's this guy? Where'd he go? Yeah, he just bailed? He just bailed. He's in the area. Um, we've been trying to reach out to him. Well, can the son work? He doesn't have a job right now. He lost his job a year ago. Can he get another one? He I mean, it's not a luxury. If you, if, you, if you really can't pay the bills, you really have to go out and look for work just like the rest of us. I mean, what is he hoping? He to marry a rich woman? I mean, he, has, he probably has to keep, you know, just keep trying to find work. Yeah, but for right now, he's not. So can you explain to me how they're going to put food on the table while in, in the interim? Like, well, there, this there is food, today. There are you're, food you're stamps. There are, there are, there's plenty of government-assisted programs. So, a month. so they can eat. That's a start. Yeah, that's a start. It's great, Bill. We don't know the other side of the story. So, I mean, before I jump all over this guy and say that this is just as sad as it seems on the surface, like, it seems like there's more to the story. We're getting lost here with all the, the details. What, what's really important is that maybe there's someone in our audience that knows how to help her. Maybe there's a right. free assistance that she can go get, uh, legal help that she can get in order to get the divorce started because then her problems will start to get better.